welcome to A Word for Wednesday. I appreciate you joining us again. It's Christmas time, or it's getting close, and here for a few weeks we're going to focus a little bit on Christmas. I want to talk to you today from a sermon I preached several years ago. I got the idea from this book here. I, I'm not sure the author's name, how to pronounce it. Jarrett Icock or Acock, A-Y-C-O-C-K. Jarrett, J-A-R-R-E-T-T-E. If Christ had not come. Now this is an evangelistic sermon and it is a great sermon. But years ago, I read it, and I converted it to a Christmas sermon. So I was going back through some of my old Christmas material this week, and that one caught my eye. And I have been rejoicing in what Mr. Acock read and and what I uh, imagined it would say about what if Christmas had never happened. What if Christ had not come? Do you have a few moments to share with me here this busy Christmas season? In the Gospel of John, chapter 15, Jesus is going through a whole list of things here, teaching his disciples about, hey, they're going to hate you. They hated me. They're going to hate you. They persecuted me. They're going to persecute you. And he, and he says, but in all these things, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Don't panic. They're doing to you what they did to Christ because they do not know God the Father. And then Jesus said, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. And Mr. Acock talks from this verse about now people have no cloak for sin, no covering for sin because Christ came. But let me ask you this. If Christ had not came, if there were no Christmas, as in I said last week, Jesus was not born on December 25th. Well, I guess there's a, a one in 365 or one in 366 chance he was born on December 25th, but probably more than likely born in the spring and nobody knows the date except Christ and whoever remembers dates in heaven, they may remember that date, but we don't know, but we celebrate. We celebrate on December 25th. We choose to celebrate the, the, the glorious appearing of Christ in humanity, deity becoming dust, divinity becoming humanity so that he might save us from our sin. But what if Christ had not come? What if Christ had not come as God incarnate in the flesh? What if he had not preached personally to the world the doctrine of salvation and confirmed that doctrine by, by miraculous operations? The world might have pleaded ignorance in some measure, had he not come, they might have had, they might not would have had the sin of unbelief to answer for as the world does now. Had Christ not come, they might have had an excuse. But oh, what a horrible world this would have been with no Christmas. With no Christmas, the Bible would be incomplete. The Bible would have ended with Malachi. Listen to this final word from God for man, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Malachi 4 and 6. The Bible would have been incomplete. Psalm 23, beautiful psalm about our shepherd. We would never have known the full meaning, the full meaning of that without Christmas. Isaiah 53 would be as hard for us to comprehend as it was for the Ethiopian eunuch because he didn't know about Christmas. He didn't know about Christ coming and we wouldn't know about it either. The world would be saying, of whom speaketh the prophet of this? This of himself or of some other man? How can I understand except some man should guide me? The whole Old Testament would have 
would have been misunderstood. It could not have been completely understood had there been no Christmas. The story would have ended in the middle. Had there been no Christmas, we would have no New Testament. There would be no need for a New Testament. The, the New Testament describes Christ to us. The four Gospels would be completely missing. The epistles, the church letters, no book of revelations, no doctrine from the pen of Paul or Peter or James or Jude. All these books would be missing. Had there been no Christmas, there would be no New Testament. The palsied man of Capernaum would have stayed on his mattress with no visit from the great physician. The man at the pool of Bethesda would have laid there, who had laid there 38 years, would have laid there till he died. The 10 lepers would have grown more desperate and died in rottenness of their flesh. Blind Bartimaeus would have lived in the dark all of his life. The widowed mother in Nain would have buried her son and lived without any support. Jairus would have buried his daughter. Lazarus would have never gotten up and Mary and Martha would have mourned him the rest of their days. We would never know how many people five loaves and two fishes could feed if there had been no Christmas, I would have died in my sickness. Odie would have died at birth. Kelly might have died as a young lady from the horrible asthma attack she endured all of her life. Had there been no Christmas, we would be yet in our sins. Had there been no Christmas, the whole story of Christ the virgin birth, God speaking to Mary, God speaking to Joseph and Joseph doing the right thing, even though it was the hard thing to do. And Mary being a virgin, giving birth to a child as a, as a, as a fulfillment of prophecies that were hundreds of years old, there would be no virgin birth. There would be no babe in Bethlehem. The angel choir would have never came down and gave, given their best recital at, at the little town of Bethlehem. They would have stayed in heaven. The shepherds would have heard no song, no peace on earth, no goodwill toward men. There would never be any Christmas joy. There would there would never there wouldn't be Christmas cookies. There wouldn't be there wouldn't be Christmas food and all that's immaterial. But there would be no Christ without Christmas. There would be no Savior. There would be no forgiveness. Maybe we could sacrifice some way as they did in the Old Testament and push our sins back another year, but next year they'd be staring us right back in the face. There would be no forgiveness. There would be no washing from our sin. There would be no regeneration from our sin. There would be no walking in brand new life. There would be no new creatures. We would be stuck in our habits, stuck in our addictions, stuck in our old way of thinking. We would be still scarred and stained with sin had there been no Christmas. Without Christmas, the world would be a very, very dark place. Without Christmas, there would have been no Christ to go to the cross. There would have been no sacrifice for sin. There would have been no sinless blood flowing down for sinners. Hallelujah. There would be no saving power, no precious blood, as Peter spoke about. No precious blood. Have there been no Christmas? Had there been no Christmas, no cross, no dying Savior, there would be no resurrection. Joseph's tomb would have never been borrowed. Women coming to seek Jesus in his grave would have stayed at home. They had no business at the cemetery that early in the morning. There would never have been a resurrection. We would bend over sick beds and say goodbye to our loved ones with no hope of ever meeting them 
in the resurrection. We would weep. We would be sorrowful. We would lower those loved ones into the ground and we would be seeing them for the very last time. We would sorrow as those who sorrow without no hope because there would be no hope. If Christ had not come, there would be no Christmas. There would be no cross. There would be no death, no burial, no resurrection of Christ and no resurrection of of saints. In fact, there would be no saints because we are sainted by the blood of Jesus Christ. He nailed our sins to the cross. But if there's no Christmas, he doesn't come and our sins remain in us. If there had been no Christmas, our future would be dark. If there had been no Christmas, our future would be bleak. We have nothing to look forward to had there been no Christmas. But oh, I cannot close this out without telling you, thank God he did come. Christ has come. Hallelujah. Christ has come. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor that ye through his poverty might be rich. The son of God became, lowered himself and became the son of man so that the sons of men might become sons of God. Oh, thank God he came. Hallelujah. He has come. There is a Christmas Praise God. John said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. He was in the world, and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. Verse 11, he came unto his own, but his own received him not. But listen, but as many as received them, received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Hallelujah. Christ came. God in the flesh, God incarnate, 100% God, yet 100% man, the only God man. Oh, he didn't have to do it, but he did. He came, he came and gave himself for us. Hallelujah. Thank God for Christmas. Listen, don't get caught up in all the mess of Christmas and don't get depressed by all the mess of Christmas. You know, Christmas today, is, is, it can be a time of joy, but for many, it is a really, it is a really risk, risky time of deep depression. So many people sink into depression in the holidays at the loss of loved ones, at the loss of jobs, at the loss of homes or cars or friends or family. Loss seems to be magnified a thousand percent during the, the Christmas holidays. And, and, and that's a tragedy in itself. And if you're in depression and despair in the holidays, listen, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you because I'm asking God to turn your insight just a little bit, as he did mine in a very critical time, turn my insight just a little bit and realize, yes, loss is magnified a thousand percent during the holidays, but Christmas is Christmas because Christ came for me. Hallelujah. God rest you, merry gentlemen. Let nothing you dismay. Remember, Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. Thank God Christ came. Thank God Christmas came into the world and we might celebrate it even today. Thank you for joining us. That's my word for Wednesday. See you back here next Wednesday, by God's grace. 
Come and join us. Thank you.